Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I used to be a big, big fan of Kevin Gates. I still like Kevin Gates. But as I get older, it just seems like Kevin Gates be making stuff up. He's he's telling everybody he's been to heaven. He's, well, I've been to heaven. Hmm. I've been to heaven before. Or what people call heaven. Describe what that's like. The scariest thing in the world. Really? Yep. Hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And... The gravitational pull, when you there, it force your face on the ground. Mm. Every every head shall bow and every tongue shall Just, confess. Yes. We not talking about that Jesus Christ shit. I ain't talking about that shit, that mm. Bible shit. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. I ain't talking about that. No man or woman on earth has ever had the privilege to basically go to heaven, chill with everybody, and then come back on earth. That doesn't, like, it just sounds like he's just saying anything to get attention and he's always on these psychedelics and all these things and most people i know who do psychedelic drugs they always say they seen something and then he says well i wasn't on drug man get out of here kevin you i don't believe nothing he says and if he did go to heaven you would come back to earth and keep acting ignorant then that means you're super ignorant like that doesn't make sense he claim all oh, Muslim, Muslim, but he's publicly talking about sleeping with all these women. And clearly, to our knowledge, he still's, he's still married. Like, he's just a walking contradiction at this point. That's the thing. Fame and money is like, <laughs> it really makes people become blind to you. Like, Kevin Gates makes no sense half of the things he says. And everyone's like, oh, you're so deep. He'll say something like the water's not actually blue. You know, that's because of the reflection from the sky. Man, that's deep. It's like everything he say, oh, that's deep. Oh, my God. And if you really just look and listen, it don't make sense. He's literally a self-righteous Muslim. Like the way he carries himself. Now, that's one thing to make mistakes. Cool. But if you're making the same mistake purposely and consciously at that point, that's your decision and that's what kevin gates does you're talking about dicking women down and all this and how you a sex machine and you eat booty and then you next thing you know you're out praying in front of a building with your little thing on. it's like bro you're just doing all this for attention bro you don't you know you don't feel that and it's it's like it's kind of sad because the thing is i actually like him i respect him but i just feel like the fame and attention is going to his head and you know, he makes all these claims and he's not a human being. And Man, anytime a person sits at an interview and I'm, I'm not a human being. Nigga, I you... asked to come here hmm. to this dimension. I asked. Really? So that I could be better than the angels. Be nigga, you a human being. You bleed, boo-boo, pee just like everybody else. You a human, bro. Wow. I asked so that I could be elevated and ranked. You know, I can do things that mere mortals can't even... What you, what you can do, you can be invisible? I mean, I can do that too. You <laughs> done did it before. You done walked up on somebody. I didn't even see you standing there. And then you done had that happen to you before. You done walked up on somebody. I didn't even I see have. you, baby Jay. But that's because you was vibrating at a higher level. Mm. And they couldn't see you. Just because you got this money and all this, you walking around like you're not a human being. I think he really believes he's a lizard or alien or something. And then look at how he wears his clothes. And look, I'm not judging him. I'm just wanting y'all to open your eyes up to false prophets, bro. This man is just saying whatever he wants to say because he understands how simple-minded and how unintelligent most people are in the world. He understands that. He knows that he can control people with his fame and his money. That's what he's doing. People believe everything he says. He makes no damn sense at all. Like, I literally watch his interviews just to laugh because I'm like, he really feels like he's so deep in it's just, it, he's just fake woke to me at this point. Fake woke. You have not been to heaven, bro. Stop telling people that. Like, you're not that special, bro. What makes you special? Think about it. He, so if you really went to heaven and met God and all this, you really think he's going to send you back? God already knows you before you know yourself. So you really think he, you went to heaven, you came back and you dry humping the air talking about how you long dicking hoes and you that nigga and do this and you that. Come on, man. Get out of here. That's stupid. That's devil's work. This man's doing devil's work and he don't even realize it. He's so woke, but he's doing devil's work. But man, today, y'all gonna laugh. I do respect him. I'm just, as a man, I'm giving y'all my opinion about the things that he's doing. You feel me? But hey, I wish him the best of luck, man. I do, but goodness gracious, it, the nonsense has to stop.